We're going to be looking at uh, what's happening uh, internationally, especially when it comes to the RAND. And I believe we have uh, Jamil Ahmed, who's the Global Head of Currency Strategy and Market Research at FXTM. Uh, Jamil, thanks so much for your time this morning. Good morning and thank you very much for having me. The past couple of weeks, the theme has been emerging markets and one of the countries everyone continues to talk about, especially here when it comes to local analysts, is the RAND. What is happening with the RAND performance? We're seeing dollar strength, but you know, there's a bit of an effect there. How are you reading the, the RAND situation at this point? Okay, so let's talk about what's going on in the general market. Basically, we are seeing overwhelming dollar strength and it's relentless buying momentum that we're seeing for the dollar. As a result of this, the emerging market currencies as a wide basket globally are finding their backs against the wall because this dollar strength has been relentless. Now, one of the repercussions this has had on South Africa is that the South African rand has suffered materially over the past couple of trading sessions. And the unfortunate thing is that the outlook at this point is that the dollar could continue to strengthen, which means that the U.S. dollar will continue to strengthen and advance against its global currencies, and the emerging market currencies are likely to be a threat to further weakness over the sessions ahead. Jamil, have has the rand then lost its spark? I know we were saying there's a lot, you know, happening particularly for 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 the dollar, but. Is the RAND then, you know, or the emerging market space itself also just sort of losing that, that, uh, that glow it had uh, late last year to early this year? Uh, not necessarily. It's the change in investor sentiment and it's a transformation actually in investors buying the dollar. And it's something that very few in the markets expected to happen one month ago and that includes me. Um, this dollar strength is relentless. Even currencies like the British pound, euro, Japanese yen, your most developed currencies are being whacked against the US dollar. Um, unfortunately, what has happened over the past week or so is that the emerging market currencies have really caught up to the pressure that's been seen against the dollar. And it seems to be that they're catching up with the speed, and that's why they're weakening quite suddenly. And um, it's not just Iran that's been really smacked by the dollar strength. A number of different emerging market currencies in Asia are hitting multi-year lows. Um, the Turkish lira has got out of control for a number of different reasons. And it's also possible that this Turkish lira crisis, with the weakness which has come at 15% this year so far, it's probably impacting investor appetite towards risk, yeah. which means there's even less investor appetite towards emerging market currencies as well. Yeah. Um, as you you know, we can continue with that Turkish lira story, but it's also, you can then head on over to Europe then and then say that the euro itself is also facing a few, a few issues of its own. Yeah, I mean, the euro is coming under sun and pressure for a couple of different reasons. And um, we've talked about dollar strength. We have this it's a slowdown in economic data, but I think that people have been a little bit tough on the data because 2017 was a a severe outperformance for the EU economy, which is one of the reasons why the euro rallied as materially as it did, and it was up like 15% over um, 2017. So the data has dipped slower this year, and that's been seen as an underperformance, but in comparison to last year, it wasn't expected the EU economy would continue at such a pace. And we have this, I would say, resumed political risk in Italy around populism, and that also seems to be having some impact on investor sentiment as well. All right. Jamil, uh, thanks so much for your time. That's Jamil Ahmed, who is the Global Head of Currency Strategy and Market Research at FXTM.